Hey guys, uh, most of you know me, but for those of you who don't, I'm Lucy. Um, I'm just finishing up my first year at Swansea University doing psychology and criminology. Um, and today I get to speak to lovely people um, about what God's really been putting on my heart um, at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to dive straight into it. Um, so God at the moment has really been speaking to me um, and emphasising that although this is a period of waiting, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that this needs to be a period of stillness and of emptiness. Um, that we can do things to keep ourselves still moving, um, keep ourselves really active in our faith. And one um, amazing, just one amazing piece from the Bible um, that can really help us to keep moving um, and not get stuck in this stillness and this um, emptiness and to really thrive in our life is to live out um, 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 onwards. Now we've been studying this at our church in Swansea since the new year, breaking it down and taking um, a new part each week. So I'm just really going to share with you what I've learned um, and what God's saying about it in this situation. So I'm going to read it and then we'll break it down. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonour others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Um, now, anyway, this is one of probably my favourite verses in the Bible, just because I think it speaks so much of Jesus's character, um, which then obviously makes it even more amazing for us to be able to live this out. Um, so one thing that um, my church in Swansea was speaking about is, um, rereading the passage and when you read it replace it replacing love with your name um, so for example Lucy is patient Lucy is kind Lucy does not envy Lucy does not boast Lucy is not proud um, and this really really helps you to really put yourself into it and um, look on your actions and look how you're acting and seeing if you're really living out Corinthians 13 um, during this lockdown period um, so Patience is where it starts off and this is really important during this time because tensions are high, um, people may have moved back, back in with people they haven't lived with for a long time, um, everyone's in the house at once at one time which you may not be used to which definitely can be quite hectic so I think um, having patience is so important and just remembering you know take a step back sometimes, um, give people grace because everybody's emotions are everywhere. Love is kind. Lucy is kind. Um, kindness, there's such a vast spread of things you can do that are kind. It can be from putting a load of washing in, to cooking a meal, to baking someone a cake um, and leaving it on their doorstep. There's so many things that even though we can't see each other face to face, um, that we can do for people. You can send them an encouraging message, um, tell them you're praying for them, it's anything, it can be anything like that, big or small, but I think it's really important during this time we spread kindness um, and then we show people who are possibly looking around, searching for something more um, in this really uncertain, horrible time, that there is something more, um, there's something to keep you smiling, there's something to give you joy and there really is something worth living for, especially during this period of what some people may see as um, emptiness. It does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. Now, social media is an amazing thing, um, but it's also a very difficult thing because people post snapshots of their lives, which people then perceive as being their whole life, and it can mislead people to what someone's life is really like. Um, and I think during this time, it's really important um, not to boast about what we have because there's a lot of people who can't get things, um, aren't able to, don't have the means, the money, whatever it is. Um, and I think instead of saying what we've got, um, you know, to say, you know, what do you need? Um, what can I give you that I've got um, to help you during this time and to make life a bit easier for you? It does not dishonour others and it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Um, and like I said earlier, tensions are probably high in houses. Um, we're four weeks in now and things are getting a bit, you know, a bit too close for comfort. I think it's really, really, really um, an important thing to, I use the word important too much, um, it's imperative <laughs> that uh, we 
are checking our own emotions, I think, and I can definitely say this for myself. Um, don't let my anger at the situation um, project onto other people because it's not um, fair because other people are feeling a range of different emotions um, and it's really just not very helpful during this time. Um, love doesn't keep a record of wrongs. Um, now Lucy probably needs to work on this um, but obviously it's very easy during this time because everybody is at home to see maybe what people um, are not doing rather than what they are doing um, and love doesn't keep a record of wrongs and um, if we really want to be more like Jesus it's really important to instead of saying they haven't done it or this 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 to maybe say do you know what I'll do it um, doing it for Jesus um, and that's all that really matters love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth now this is such an amazing time to really be able to get into the word um, to access so many different resources that are online whether it's spring harvest um, sermons from some really really amazing preachers there's a multitude of different things um, and we in this time have the opportunity to be enriched to be fed to be refueled to be nourished um, in this time and I think that it's really encouraging that we have these things and we're able to access these things so easily and to really speak truth and light into our situation and to show that to people around us that even though this time is really horrible and that some people may even be walking through the valley of the shadow of death that there is something so much greater that there's Jesus that our hope that our life everything we've got him and this is just such a cool thing such an amazing thing to remind ourselves of and um, because we can forget about it and other things can get in the way and we can be worried about the daily update um, or the stats coming out of the hospitals which obviously is a very worrying thing um, but Jesus is truth light love hope he's our everything um, and it's definitely important to speak this into the situations when the devil's probably thinking I can get a foothold in here and um, people are worrying, people are anxious, but um, Jesus casts out anxiety and fear and it's not something he wants for us. Um, so we shouldn't have to worry about that um, and any thoughts of anxiety we have um, need to disappear, need to go because that is not um, of God. And coming to the end, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. So again, we can put ourselves into that. Lucy always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. Um, I think perseverance is such um, an important thing at this time because um, if not, we could probably get ourselves into um, a very low point or into this emptiness and this stillness because we have to keep going, we have to keep going even though the days may start to become quite mundane and you're having to do the same things over and over. Um, personally for me, I don't have that much uni work. Um, I'm revising for two less exams than I thought so things can get a bit um, slightly boring sometimes. So I think really just persevering and pushing forward. It's a time to grow, to progress, um, to really probably dig into your relationship with God. Um, ask him what he's saying in this period of time. He's not gone silent because the rest of the world's gone silent. Um, and remember, you want to thrive. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've got to say today. Um, but just uh, a reminder that if anybody wants any prayer, um, encouragement, someone to talk to, a FaceTime, I'm always here, so send me a message, uh, let me know. Stay safe, have blessed weeks ahead, 